You guys, what's good? Happy Memorial Day. Thought I'd celebrate a little bit of fun with it. You know, I don't know if it's that happy of a day, but you know, in remembrance, right? So like we're remembering the soldiers, we'll remember all these bombs, these birds dropped in my c car. I was dodging left and right, but sitting under a tree, you gotta be crazy. So I was detailing a car, parked my car under a tree, and I come back two hours later and there's bird crap all over it. So I couldn't dodge those bombs, unfortunately, but you know, I am still alive. I'll be right back. So to celebrate, I went to Culver's and got myself a nice custard vanilla and a burger and I'm gonna eat it. Woo! America! I think this video will serve two good purposes. One is to show that if you're quick about taking care of bird turds or bird bombs, then you'll be fine. You can see, oh my God, get open. These have just been baking in from the sun for a couple hours now. So it's not like I'm doing it right after they happen. It's been like, I don't know, like maybe four hours or so. Not gonna lie, my head feels like it got way bigger. This hat is just not fitting right. So I'm just gonna give it a foam down. I'll show you how it looks after. The bad thing about bird crap is when it sits in your car for too long, it starts to etch in. It'll actually like eat away at the clear coat and the paint in just that spot. So it'll look way different than the rest of the car. That's why a lot of people don't like bird crap either because it does actually cause pretty visible damage pretty quickly it's not super quick but you know it's like within maybe like a week or so i i don't know i'll look it up and put the number here america godly it's so nice out i'm <laughs> so i went to goodwill and got some loafers and pants it's kind of fun business expenses right uh what was i gonna say so i'm gonna make this one a little bit special i'm gonna try and do a red white blue car wash just like the american flag ah. Um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, it might not go, but, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. I got everything loaded up and ready to go. Um, it's almost too warm. I'm probably going to get some burnt. I'm going to get some sunscreen on. So I'm just going to be getting set up like always. Um, you know, just doing the standard power washer setup and I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good after eating. I didn't eat lunch yet, so I was kind of starving. Gosh, roped this up like an idiot. So I'll get this set up, you guys don't have to watch. So I got the blue in there. When I was coming back from my detail earlier, I, my freaking foam cannon fell over and spilled all over my seats. All right guys, let's begin with the Memorial Day car wash. This should be awesome sauce. I gotta plug in my power washer, how about that? Bull bus. All right, so we're gonna start from the back because it's red, white, blue, so gonna try and make this look like a flag a little bit. I gotta be somewhat quick about this. Dang, I put a little much in the cannon, I think. I only put like, uh, I, well, I guess I put in enough for half of a car wash. Okay, I gotta get the white going now. Come on, I gotta go faster than this crap. They need a quick disconnect on the foam cannon part. White now. As I'm spilling it everywhere. Pretty messy. It smells like orange. Ooh, this stuff smells good. Dang delicious. Aw, oh, crap. Might have been going too slow. Oh my gosh, this doesn't even look like a flag anymore. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the flag. All right, yo, I actually gotta go. It's already kind of like evaporating a little bit. Beautiful, it's a shame. Oh. Dude, these shoes are freaking awesome. I grabbed them up at Goodwill for like seven bucks. I like these random loafers I just saw on a shelf. I'm absolutely gobsmacked at how awesome they are. Oops, I missed the trunk earlier. Wow, 
That foam wash did a lot better than I thought. It must have been because there was America in it. America. You can see there's basically no more bird crap left. Bird bombs, bird turds, you know. I like bird bombs the best. I just gotta dry it off, which I'm gonna do pretty quick. But let's just take a second to enjoy the American waste stream. Red, white, and blue all up in here. All right, my head's a little sweaty. So I did have a towel just in case I wanted to agitate it, but no need, this turned out phenomenal. I mean, there is still a little bit in some places, like I had to focus the pressure washer's blastage on the areas where the bird crap was, because otherwise it wasn't gonna come out. So I was able to focus it without really doing any damage. You gotta remember I am using the 40 degree, which is like fat chance I'm causing damage with that thing, especially at 1,800 PSI max, like. I'm good. Also, I put that uh, PNS bead maker on a few weeks ago, I think. Not a few weeks ago, maybe like a few days ago. Actually works really well. Super easy to apply too. That's cool, you know. Yeah. So get yourself some of that. It's pretty cheap too. I'm sure there's better ones out there. So if you know a better one and you like it, you can throw that somewhere for everybody to see. America landed the free baby. Okay, I'm just kind of glad that all that bird crap came out easily. I didn't really want to do an agitation run. You know, sometimes you just don't want to agitate. Ain't you a beat? Excuse me. You know, one thing that like, being a detailer is I'm kind of contrarian on is I don't really care about cars that much. It's like people think I'm like a big car guy and they'll ask me all this stuff and I'm like, let me stop you right there, buddy. Uh, these glasses are giving me like rainbow vision. I'm turning LGB or something. Also the detail I was doing earlier is I was under a tree, but the, the car I was doing was also under a tree. Luckily there weren't any birds crap in there, but there was leaves falling like crazy. So I was like, Dude, I don't know when he comes back if there's a bunch of leaves on the car, is that gonna look bad? I just kinda moved into the garage and you know, I sat in it. I had to make a choice. I spilled a bunch of red juice everywhere. Holy crap, my head is just a ball of sweat. I'm just gonna clean up for a second. With this colored foam, if you use something like a microfiber towel, it's just gonna dye the towel. I've done that once. But you can see, well, maybe I just have like blind spots on my eye, I don't know. Can you guys see anything? The color did come out eventually, but it just took a while. Like, I think I'd been using it for a few months. At that point, it wasn't out yet, so it does take its sweet time. The Adam's Colored Foam stuff smells really good, but you only get one bottle, and it lasts about one car wash. So it's 500 milliliters in here, which is equivalent to about a car wash. You might need more on something like a big Suburban, though. Wow. So we successfully got the bombs out. It definitely could could have used an at little agitation, but you know, I'm not gonna be super picky about it today. Man, these glasses like seriously give me like rainbow vision. See all those rainbows? Yeah, so if you're quick about doing bird crab, like you can get it out really easily. So that's kind of a bonus. Um, I don't think bird crab is usually really a big a big issue unless you let it sit for a week or plus. So I had, you know, hours in the sun, like four hours or so, and I was able to get out with just a foam wash, which is amazing. And I'm not going under that tree again. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little, very lightly informational and more of just like a fun little American car wash. So I had fun making this and uh, it was a little bit challenging, but it was easy enough. I had all the stuff for it. Ooh, that's hot. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpack everything, get all put away. <laughs> you gotta just remember that, you know, freedom was, is never free. No, it comes at a price. We are uh, very thankful that, you know, we get the freedom to do some stuff like this every day. So, or I am very thankful and you should be as well. That's what I meant by we. So yeah, go and enjoy the, this beautiful world, guys. Later.